Well, I just want to jump on the channel here and I guess do somewhat of a public service announcement. <laughs> but my good business partner, uh, Scott Peterson, and I just got back from the Eau Claire, Wisconsin gun show. And also, it seems like we get an email roughly every three weeks asking us this question, why should I anneal? Why should I use the EP to point annealer? And, you know, we, matter of fact, we're having a lot of even experienced reloaders that just don't anneal at all, ask the same question at our booth. And this is just my opinion, and I really don't know many people at the tip of the spear of the precision world that don't anneal. And when it comes to annealing, it's just beneficial. It softens that brass, you get more longevity out of the brass, you got less split necks, more consistent headspace bumps, um, more consistent neck tension. You know, in the grand scheme of things from start to finish of your reloading process, it really doesn't take that long. I mean, for example, your average piece of brass getting annealed is, takes roughly about six seconds for a pure example. I'm gonna count off this next piece here. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand. So roughly six seconds, that's about normal uh, for larger cartridges like this. Usually two, two, three is about five to six. You know, if it takes six seconds per anneal, if you got 50 pieces, obviously that's 50 times six, that's 300. 300 divided by 60, that's five minutes per every 50 pieces. You're doing 100 pieces, that's 10 minutes. You know, that's another reason why we didn't put a hopper on the EP to point annealer, because we wanted to keep it simple, stupid, the pure KISS method. And, you know, once you've used the EP to point annealer that can adjust from 17 Hornet to 50 BMG, and adjust literally in less than 30 seconds. You know, this brass stopper slides in and out, the fence slides in and out, the shim plate here uh, spins in and out, depending on what cartridge you're annealing. And this will do 17, H, uh, 17 Hornet to 50 BMG. Once you've done it a few times, you're gonna be asking yourself, seriously, why haven't been doing this the whole time? Especially in the grand scheme of things, it's really a drop in the bucket in your reloading process. And, we we designed this to so you can kneel right out of the box. It comes with everything you need other than the blue propane tank. A matter of fact, we're working on an updated tank holder that you can use a green camp style uh, propane tank. It's not coming out really soon, but eventually it's coming out here. We're kind of redesigning that tank holder, but it is coming for both the blue and green tanks. Um, but it comes with everything you need the tank holder, the brass pan, the power supply, the torch head, and obviously the annealer. Whether you use Tempelac or use the GLOW method, personally I like to use the GLOW method and I use what's called test brass. Usually I can be up and running and annealing my actual brass using test brass and roughly the third to fifth piece of test brass before I actually drop in my first piece of reloaded brass to be annealed. You're gonna be asking yourself the same question, why haven't I been annealing the whole time? And it's just beneficial. You're gonna get nothing but positives out of it. I just don't see why you shouldn't do it. But check out our website, www.epintegrations.com. Obviously we sell the EP20 annealer, but we also sell the EP integrations lockdown blocks. Uh, right now we're selling them in raw aluminum red, white, and blue, Cerakoted, and black anodized. And we also came out with the updated uh, big bore block that will do for, uh, will hold casings from 223 to 50 BMG, while the other ones here hold uh, casings from 223 to 375 shy And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to send us an email at epintegrations.hotmail.com. Otherwise, you can check out our website to make that purchase at www.epintegrations.com.